Right, yeah. go for a walk on the park, like you do most days. Not every day, because some days are not with on the health board. Today's okay. Go on my own today. Why is not with me? This might not be very long, because I've got 14% of my phone. 14% power. I think I was going to charge last night, I forgot to. And being me, I don't want to charge this phone. And I got up. Anyway. Just going to park. People say, what no, it does nothing. But I suppose it depends how many times you do it, how often you do it. I was there four, three to four times a day when I had best. Can't fit though. My knees won't let me do this now. It's one of those things I don't know, I can't. Tell me it's best though. I miss you. Uh, one morning, to get that bench and not my hand, and then if I didn't get up, she not my hand again. If I didn't get up, she jump on us. I learned if I did, I didn't know how to get up the first time. It's like you're stroking her. Sit next to your seat, see, stroking her. If you stop, snuck your hand, then you keep stroking her again. She might only be a dog, but she got the point across every time. Every night, when she went to bed, she had to she come for a struggle. Don't know why. But she, she, she wouldn't sit down and go to bed, and she had to curl up as I always said she's more like a child than a dog. Because a lot of kids want to go to bed, they want to cuddle to my dad, don't they? Or something before they go to bed. That's what she was like. Like when you decide to do something. Like in a picture of a child. She'd do it in her own sweet time. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi. Just time you walk past. That's why I stopped for a bit. I remember a couple of times today, uh, she'd be in the garden, top of the garden. And I shut her down and go in because I'm going in. And she'd go over the grass, the path, and she walked down the path in her own free time. My wife says um, it's because when we first got the puppy, I was too soft on her apparently. She couldn't wait too much. But she was, she was pretty much well behaved most of the time. And when we first got her, um, she was already a uh, toy trained pretty much. And um, she knew most voice commands. But the wife was in the uh, Chicago back then. Uh, down at our mums and dads. So I was in the next room there. And I... Anyway, I taught her all the hand commands. Whole bunch of them. Most of them is even you stay away. My hands were enough. But she was, she was usually quite well behaved though. I mean, like any dog or any child that you can get, you can get. I always saw her as my, as my, as my little girl. No, as my dog. She knew that as well. Uh, but uh, like any, any dog or any child, you know, that any dog. She, she can speak here sometimes. Every dog does. But I'd say 95 times out of 100, she's just told, is she be a good girl? She was like that though. When she's good, she's really good. When she's bad, <laughs> not really bad. I mean, it's never used to bark that much, really. I mean, 
most dogs bark when they're most of most past in the bark. And they say, don't we think she had a problem with, with other dogs? She's a rescue dog, so I don't know what happened to her before we got here, but she didn't like other dogs. Other dogs come in here, she'd, uh, she'd uh, get up into some growl at the meal. And, she, and if they got too close, she'd start barking and crazy at them. But she just didn't bark for no reason. And when, I first, we first, when we were first got her, you could look at it, no problem. You just, you just, you see, why is she boring and seeing pictures of her? When we first got her, her eyes were sad. Now most people say, yeah, eyes, dogs, or boys got sad eyes. But it's not the case. We had her for two years. And it was a change in them. It took two years, but it was a rise. She didn't look so sad no more. I don't know if it took two years, but I trust this or whatever. But for some reason, it might happen before then, but I noticed it after about two years. Her eyes were doing sad no more. Because I was sitting on this, I was sitting next to her, stroking her, and she looked up at us, and suddenly I noticed her eyes weren't sad no more. She looked happy. And I understand it sounds weird. How can you notice my dog's happy by their eyes? But her eyes didn't look sad no more. Well, to me they didn't. I mean, I could be wrong. But to me, her eyes didn't look sad no more. It looked like she finally found a home and a family that loved her. I mean, hopefully, she have just return. But then again, she wouldn't have been the way she was, but she didn't. I mean, the reason how we got this was my wife, uh, her mother, my mother-in-law died. And the only reason I was talking about getting the dog before that, and uh, one day she was really down. So I thought, right, we've talked about this. We said, you want to get one? Let's go and get one. So we went, and we saw a couple of different ones. But this is the one that uh, took to Rachel. Because Beth wasn't my dog. I bought Beth from my, from my wife. I must have been my best master, but Rachel was the owner. And she took to Rachel straight away. And Rachel thought, right, her. So, it's actually lucky that we got here. Because if we didn't take it that day, she would be destroyed. So we'll give her a second chance. We worked out the best thing we did. Uh, she saw through her mum dying. She was there for again now and she needed some. And then she just, her dad died a couple of years later. Best still through that. So, so I've been some of the worst times of her life. Because a couple of other families died between then, you know. And Beth was always there for her, she needed her. Even me, when I lost people. Now it's lost a couple of them. That's actually coming to the anniversary, so we One of them in a couple of days, and one of them six days later. If you watch my videos, you'll know who I'm about. I don't know if I'm putting this on YouTube or not, which is why I'm talking to you. Um, if I do, you'll know who I'm about. If you don't, well, you won't know. But anybody, if you know who watches me, you'll know. Nice talk about it. Love it. I don't. I'm not a cat person. I'm not into gerbils and guinea pigs and stuff, but I like dogs. I'm not any courses, but I never want one. <laughs> I watched this film on uh, YouTube called Mustang, not YouTube, on uh, Netflix called The Mustang. Not bad. I want to say it's great, but you ain't bad for them. You guys stay in there one half. Wait, look. I mean, 
I think no, I came much, but I wasn't supposed to do much. So what did I do? I said to you, I've been watching the movies all day. Well, most of the day. Now I'm starting to be more motivated just because I've got my tracing in my, my blood pressure. I'm sure that high. He said, I need to get more exercise. Which is why I'm working about more now than I did. My blood sugar pressure gets checked four times a day. Twice in the morning, twice in the afternoon. In the morning, about 11, half past 11. And in the afternoon, it's about, it's about four o'clock. I looked at the weather and said that it wasn't that warm. So I put my coat on. And it's warm. I see my face dead out. It's not to rain. I think I'm going again actually. The morning's all good and well. But two would be a bit better. Last time I did two. I did the one. I was out of reach. Knee props. By the time I finished the second one, my back was eating. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to go on the other side. I miss. Actually, I think I will. Whew. Right. As someone says, it's a large park, but it's big enough. I'm only doing this video because my wife says do a video I want to see when you get back Who's oh, terror? It's warm So terror But I see it's a nice, nice park The best, this is really nice when in the middle of summer when it's shining Lovely And no time is when snow's on the ground you can't see any of the grass, but it's all like lovely. Frost is not too bad either, because you can see all the grass glistening. What you walk in here is crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Beth was pretty much used to come, especially in the, in the snow. When it's like this weather, when the dark nights come in, she was a dark dog, she was very black. So I couldn't see her in the dark. So I got this here uh, little colour for her. So when she was when, when she was walking around I could see it. So I knew she wasn't. <laughs> it was like a flashing thing. Colour thing it was came in very handy in the other kind of weather. And the snow wasn't a problem when it was dark, I could see it straight away. She just sitting on the walls in the snow. And when she came up, she's a mound about that big. I know. It looks like she's been cooking. Because I'm pressing them all over her nose. She's crazy enough, you think it's. She used to uh, have this mad moment. At least twice a week. I used to go to the garden, I didn't take her for a walk. Uh, I took her in the garden. I was in the garden anyway, so. I think after a walk, between the walk, of course, you know, uh, uh, I put in the garden. And uh, I've used that with her, because I think, you know, I stand at the door, or I'm about down your way. But she said it's mad, I'm always running up into the garden, then run back, and then run back. I'm about to fall, but the thing is, though, she was crushed with a bit, so she was quite fast. Well, I think it was a bit, could be a great hand, anyway. It was definitely, uh, you know, well, she was fast. And uh, one day I was standing in the middle of the garden with her as she ran down and she didn't stop in time. And she had put me somewhere. I went to the floor because it was unpeatable. But then from that end on, I never stood in the middle of the garden. <laughs> I used to play in the garden quite a bit actually. Throwing the ball. I'd be hitting through the ball. Too smart for that though. For me, you just pick it up all, a dog turns out to go for it and run the base it is. 
Well, she never ever did that. She always knew whether something was for real or not. So rather than tell you, I got to get the dead marines. If I had cheat in my pocket, there's my most baby. If I had cheat in my pocket, she sniffed it out. Most people keep a couple of treats in the dog, in the pocket of a dog. Oh, couldn't that way. The dog doesn't bother until you give them one. Mmm, right here. She'll sniff them out. I'm off you down sitting thing. Well, almost I've earned. I'm at the point in, in now. I see this tree is probably off you down. See, tree. Over. That way. To the child's superior. That gate was the gate to it. You must have heard it going. So, you can do things. I used to take uh, my Sunday sometimes. I used to take best for a walk. Uh, if I took Michael there, I'd take my little pupils. And I'd sit there for a bit. Oh, my little bit. Well, I've got this new way in this way, with Fudge. So, it's, it's fudging warm. And now I'm fudging getting tired. Well, I won't 